Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to Mad Games Tycoon. Uh, I, I totally saw you. I you can't hide. Uh, we're back. Uh, with uh, Wet Dog Entertainment. We started a new game in the last episode, as you might remember. And are working our way towards the riches. I'm really pushing through this to get pretty much to the same level as we were before. We're doing really well. Um, the sales figures are getting worse, therefore we have to take in... Therefore we have taken this game off the market. Yes, very good. 55,000 profit is good though. Makes me happy. Uh, they're still researching economic simulations. I'm gonna put someone else in there and you're just gonna... Drip. Do some code debugging while these guys are researching cool games. Scripted AI, yes. I, I'm, I'm considering actually going for more research this time and actually researching our own engine uh, and not have any profit sharing. Economic simulation, money plays in this genre, the main role. Uh, this is achievable only with strategic thinking, yes. Okay, um, research features. Oh wow, there's a lot to research, but it might be worth it. Oh, sports games. Yeah, I'm, I'm clicking through the windows too fast. I'm sorry about that. Sprites allows you to represent moving objects on the screen. Okay, now I can research my own engine. Um, I'm gonna for just researching all the features. Yeah, we're gonna make our own engine. I mean, in the beginning, it's maybe not as worth doing that, but researching some features to just um, be on top of that might make sense. Yeah, we should develop a new game. We should definitely develop a new game. Uh, let's... oh wait, still working on that, so let's research maybe a cool topic. I'm, I'm not gonna develop a new game before this doesn't switch over, so... It might make sense to just research those topics. Oh, also, I should probably set this... Fantastic. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Script the AI joystick drivers, sure. That's a, that's a bigger one. Let's go and research for that. Uh, Save Force version 2.0. That's good enough. Oh, you're working through there. Some fans would have a better would ha some fans would have a better story for Orc. I really gotta get their strings straight. Wow. Yeah, this really sold really well. 262,000 and some extra cash from this. All right? Would you kindly? Okay. We will have to develop a new game as soon as they're done. Oh, it's five weeks. Never mind. Research another feature. Let's research the smaller ones. PC speakers. Nothing for me. No Studio of the Year award. Contract work. Let's give you... Um, optimize engine. Eight weeks. Ah, I'm gonna just gonna go for the biggest one with like delivery 18 weeks, so um, I can be sure that Thomas doesn't screw it up. Okay. Uh, safe game feature. Yes, I'll, I'll research that. How many parts do I have now? You've researched the third year? To make your games known, you should build a marketing department. Oh, marketing is now unlocked. Okay. Mm, research features. I have quite a lot of Features. Ah, research others. B plus and whatnot for all the features. That's expensive. We're not doing that yet. But um, okay, you're still working on that. Okay, everyday life. Like oh, it's adventure. Okay, research genre. Let's research adventure then, so we can get started on that. And then also everyday life. And then we can develop for that. I think I'm just gonna buy. The arts is six features. Yes, I'm just gonna buy it for now. We're still going to keep. We're still gonna keep researching. Absolutely. Um, as soon as we have our really big hit, we're very likely going to have more than enough money to move out of here. And we have more money. I'm just, just not too excited about moving out yet. Okay, we made that. Fantastic. Come on, finish up adventure game so we can start developing a new title. Solving logical puzzles, no exaggerated violence, and slow gameplay are the core of this game. Well, there are the brutal adventure games. Develop a game. Ad oh, never mind. Let let's first put all of them over here. And I guess I'm gonna hire one more person to just research. Um. Yeah, to just, just do continuous research. Research genre. 
Research features. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep constantly researching with one person here while we are developing a game now. Main genre, adventure. It's like topic, uh, what was it, everyday? Oh, never mind. We still need to cancel research a topic. Research topics, everyday life, where is it? Everyday life. Okay. Uh, oop. This does not look right. And Maria, you go in there too. Just really quickly researching for that. While you guys just play with your thumbs. Right, throw you back. And you back to researching features. Just something. Scripted AI. Why not? Uh, develop a game. Adventure. Sorry, wrong one. Adventure. No subgenre, just a plain adventure. Everyday life. With our new Artsis engine. Uh, five features. So, um, can I buy licenses already? The Chronicles of Red movie. Popularity 4. And four games out for that already. Nah, not no license yet. License games do make a lot of money though. Alright. <sighs> Game concept. Oh, how are you gonna call you? Everyday life. I'm an adult. Let's call it that. I'm an adult. There, yeah, that's better. Uh, oh, it says retail. Yes. Very good. We're gonna go for the personal computer and the Qatari. I do think I should buy a dev kit for the Mimtendu. Yes. Even though we're not gonna develop for that yet. We can do that with 10. Save for us. Sure, let's throw that in. Uh, adventure, we're gonna go for graphics, more story, atmosphere, game dev, and more of the casual gamer, maybe. Okay, graphics, let's warm that up, sounds, let's put that here. And gameplay, uh, yeah, along those lines. That'll be fine. English, German, oh, I have to remove one feature. Um, PC speaker, ah, joystick drivers. Let's get rid of the joystick drivers. I hope this does the trick. Get off the toilet, Frank. Work on the game. Get your shit together. Or, you know, get it out of you. <laughs> Aki, a new game engine was released. Maybe later. Not right now. We're 240,000, so we need to make some monies. I'm not gonna go on a uh, convention. It's just too much. This game is done soon. Find a publisher for this. Do we have adventures? No, I guess I'm just gonna go for Chemco. We have a good relation. Market strength is pretty much the same. It's gonna be fine. Very good. And <laughs> the Umgebung is come to the Ken. Ein dichter Nebel macht die Sicht unmöglich. Uh, it's a text adventure. All right, 24%. That's not the best. So let's go ahead and actually there wasn't there a new engine. Um, I guess it could make sense to just really quickly finish that feature and do some contract work in the meantime. Uh, 15 weeks, that's pl plenty of time while we go through that stuff. Simulations, ooh. Well, I'm an adult actually selling fairly well. I mean, I have a lot of costs because of all my staff, but I think it's worth it. And it seems we're gonna make another adventure with everyday life. So, mm, research others. Let's go B plus. Let's search big games. And contract work, we're gonna go for this one. Good. Gonna have to keep an eye on that stuff. My engine. Oh, nine features. Yes, I'll go for that. Even if the profit sharing is 24%, for now I'll just buy that engine. And since we have B plus levels, the B plus game level. Oh, not yet. We can do a lot with that. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to remove that. I wanted to do contract work. Yeah, create sound effects. 71,000. Good enough. All right. I'm an adult. Yes, income. It's all good. What about this? Um, infant history finances. Annual balance sheet. Oh, doesn't work yet. 
Not done yet. Charts. All time charts. These are not. Well, I guess these are charts. Where am I, by the way? All right, these are mine. Dork, 27,000. Wow, someone sold 266,000 already. No, well, I'm in the top 10. So I accept that. And here, yeah, I'm not selling anything in right now. So I'm not in that. Okay. Keep developing. All right, this gets a little bit too tight for me, so I'll add another workforce to that. Another person to work with it. And we got B+. Ah, oh, that's gonna be great if we develop our first big game in this thing. <laughs> Create sound effects. Yes, yes, did all that. That went really well with the timing. Okay, four people in here. I would love to put an additional person in here. Let's see. Um, wait. Uh, can I put this thing somewhere else? Yes, I can. So if I can put this one over here, I can possibly, potentially, build another desk in here. Saving space. And then have five people working on it. Oh, yes. All right, we're gonna build a really cool adventure. Adventure? Um, subgenre. I guess puzzle is a good one for an adventure as a subgenre. Everyday life. Weasel stay. It's, it's Weasel stay. Mm, I'm gonna go for B plus for all the features. Our new Aki engine only has nine, not good enough. Let's go for the uh, yeah everything with the big market share. And gameplay story, yes. Um, I think I'm gonna go for atmosphere. Let's do it like that, not too crazy. Um, game depth. Balancing this out. Is there another? Yes, Save Force 2. Making sure that we don't suffer too much piracy. <sighs> Graphics, gameplay, uh, like that, maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna add. Ooh, look at those costs. 207. Ooh, 200,000. This might break our neck if I screw this up. Ugh. Very likely, we might run out of money or have to take another loan. Because this might be expensive. Okay, I'll have to borrow another credit. One million. All the risk. All right, 16 color. That's nice. Come on, guys, keep working. You're slow. 52%. Okay, that's gonna take us a bit to develop that. Um, I wonder if it's because I don't have enough people. Then again, it's a B plus game. I think that's the first time I'm making a B plus game, technically. Before that, we had all the features in the game. Um, because I remember building games with all the features in it. Right now, this is probably the biggest. Wow, look at those numbers. That's good. Let's find a publisher. Oh. <laughs> Everyone wants in on that. Everyone's in on that. Okay, let's have a look. Someone who's like base. Okay, he's they're they're good with adventure games. Gives us six dollars. Mm, adventure games and seven dollars. I think that's the best I'm gonna get here. Yes. All right. I hope it's a good combination. Let's see. Hmm. Doesn't tell. Oh, look at those numbers. 72%. Good genre combination. Yes. Graphic, topic and trend, genre and trend. We did it all right. Great reviews. Maybe should eventually develop a sequel. Eventually. Okay. The Arts is 2 engine. I kind of want to now see how this goes. Um, we're going to develop a game update for this. Bug fixes, security, and new sounds. Sure. And I'm going to drag a few over because I don't want this. To be developed too fast. And you guys are gonna research features for our own engine that we're eventually gonna develop for color support. Why not? Small move. Choose game, weasel stay, and wow, yeah, we're making a lot of money already. Cool. <laughs> this is going really well. I just realized that four color support makes no sense anymore. Because we have 16 color support. So let's go with the st more standard features. Uh, it's gonna take some time. And we're over a million in. 
Now you have enough money to produce your own games. The costs are high, but it could be worth it. Production is now available. Possibly. I think it's time to go into a new building. I'm gonna let them finish this up. Ah, it's gonna take a bit. Okay, has been updated. I wanna look at the charts. I wanna see how we're doing. Charts, weekly charts. Ah, I'm all the way up there. All time charts. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm getting this. I have to break 270,000 sales to get the most sold game of the year. Uh, develop game update. I'm gonna throw in a few more. Here. New game modes for an adventure. I don't know how game modes, different game modes in an adventure would work, but it's okay. Throwing some money after it. It's totally worth it. Oh yes, we made it. 300,000 sales for Weasel's Day. What did he say? In your office is a sea of trash. You should buy more trash cans. Oh, that makes him sad. Okay. Trash can, you can have that here. Trash can, trash can. Stop, stop complaining. And this finishes up both at the same day. Fantastic, now we have that feature. We're going to switch buildings. We're gonna buy a new, go to a new building, new property. I'm gonna go for medium office building instantly. It's a million, I know. Or a small office building. You know what? I'm not sure. I really am not sure. I'm gonna go for the medium office building. It's it's a million. It doesn't cost rent. Ooh, that's big. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Developments. Time to build our first office. This is a big one. Okay. I think I'm happy with a lot nice big size for that. Um. Gives us enough room to build things on both sides. At least I think so, yeah. Those are nice, yeah. It's one big studio, we're gonna make really nice, really big games. Um, we're gonna need desks for that. Let's put in the nice big ones. The vault desks. Uh, and then... Um, oh, and head office, we're gonna need that too. Let's put the walls down so I can see better. Oh yeah. I think that looks like a proper size for a studio. And I could put two more in here. Ah, I think seven, seven chairs are just fine. <sighs> Let's make it look a little bit nice in there. Some shelves. Oh, we will be able to hire all the cool people now. People love shelves. I must say when I when I my when we had my own office that shelves are probably the most practical thing you could have. Alright. Um seating. Ooh, can I put a chair in here? Oh yeah I can. For relaxation purposes, I guess. Ah, we're gonna make a staff room. Alright, heating. What else? Trash can. A big pin board. Yes, absolutely. Copy machine, a water cooler. I know that some people want that in here, so let's make it nice for them to plants, uh, a fan at the top. Trust me, you would need an AC in a room like this with all these screens. Okay, um, yeah, I think we're good for now. God, this is a big one, I like this. Okay, you guys go on here, you're gonna develop a game, I think. I'm gonna let you develop a game. While I build the other rooms. Let's go ahead, develop a game. Cannot strike source. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, this is gonna end in 12 weeks. Hmm. Might be tight to develop something. You know what, we're just gonna develop a different game. We're not gonna go for their genre. I'm gonna go for economic simulations because I enjoy them. And game development. Um, yeah. We're gonna develop Game Dev Tycoon. <laughs> Great game as well. Aki, nine features. This is gonna be a big game. Oh, sorry. Uh, game size B. Platform, PC, and economic simulation on the Nintendo sounds really odd. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Unless, how, how expensive? Remove platform. How expensive is this to develop for? Ah, 35,000, that's okay. Ah, 
gameplay, game length, uh, functions, economic simulation, definitely. For a core gamer, with a lot of game depth. That sounds good. We're gonna go for technology and gameplay. A little bit of sound, a little bit of graphic. Oh yeah, all that gameplay. All right, and we're gonna do three languages, why not? All right, let's start development, you guys, while I just go ahead and build, let's say the, oh, right, the head office, the research room. Uh, now let's make that one bigger. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, we can put four desks in here. Good, good. Then we're gonna need a head office. Uh, it doesn't need a whole lot of space. We're gonna do it like that. Yes. And toilets. Toilets and staff room, we're gonna put them close to our development office. This time, I learned from my previous, I guess, mistakes. Uh, here, plen plenty big. Put doors. And a staff room. I'm gonna put that on this side. Okay. We're gonna need some objects. Like toilet stalls. Always good. People like toilet stalls. The sink and of course a hand dryer. Good. Our little staff rooms, not gonna have too much stuff in there, but nice arcade in there. Yes. A couch, obviously, orange, my favorite. Um Oh, and a and a fridge, of course. No 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 studio without a fridge. God, they get gross after some time. Oh, and a vending machine. Okay. Actually, it's, that's kind of cool room now. I like this. All right. Um, we're going to need something for the head office. Um, <laughs> mainly a desk. Where is that? Mm, here, head office desk. I'm going to get the nice Avia office black for $15,000. Yes. This looks good. And for developing, uh, for research, I'm gonna put also some nice desks in here. I'm gonna go for white as well. Here. Four desks, that should do the trick. And of course, we're gonna make the room nice. Building as fast as I can. Plants, heating, and I guess a fan wouldn't hurt. Oh, trash can, right. And a fan, where's the fan? Ceiling fan, yes. Oh, and definitely one into the this room. All right, so we could go for training right now. Um, training. Do we have tra training yet? Training room. Yes. This is definitely going to be bigger. We're going to make. Oh yes. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, they they work differently, right? I remember. Okay. Let's see how much I can fit in there. Lot of costs here. Lot of costs. Training room. I'm gonna get the one for 1,600. But we can train the whole staff in this thing now, which excites me. And the blackboard. Let's go ahead and be, make it nice, a fan and a plant. And maybe a trash can or a water cooler, just something. Okay. <sighs> All right, they weren't really developing and we got a new sale, save force or whatever it's called. Let's go ahead and develop Game Dev Tycoon while Weasel stays still uh, you know, working strong. Oh, marketing, right. Marketing, still have nothing. Are you kidding me? No award. No award for my awesome game. I should get a game of the year if I sell so many units. Or did someone sell more? Charts. All time charts. Nope. I'm still leading. And it's. Maybe it's because the year's not over yet. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think they should be happy. Bring in a few in a few months. I hope four is enough for research. It should be. Your employees are freezing. You should install more. Fr really? I already have a heater in there, but fine. I'll build another one for you. Da, 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 da. Okay. Or they might mean in the training room. Who knows? You got enough? Okay, they're fine. Come on, guys. Speed it up. I might even hire... You know what? I'm gonna hire someone else. Oh, 15 now. 
I got all the good good ones. Level two, level two, level two. Um, he's a little bit better at programming, so I'm gonna hire him, Christian Fox. I had you before, right? And I'm gonna hire mm, Daniel Rattan. Rutan. Rutan. Okay. We're really gonna go all out on this. Find a publisher. Sure thing. Um, what am I? Economic simulation. Taitu. Only four dollars? Four dollars is really bad. I kind of want to go for someone that gives me, pays me more and also have some better relations with. What about infcomps? It's like seven dollars and we have some relations and some... Mar uh. Um... Well, okay, let's go for infcoms again. More money. I'm all about the money. Oh god, that's gonna be annoying for everyone. Alright. Uh, come on, 50. Ah, damn it. Uh, 49. That might even that might sell well anyway. But right now, this is all very pricey. Let's go ahead and train. I want to do a training course. We're going to uh, continue with that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. I hope I'm not too crazy fast here. Really, um, when you, once you grab how to control this, you can go along really fast. Hey, Wheatley, relax. I know I'm ending the episode, but the series isn't over yet. In case, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It helps out a lot. I'm Weasel. I'm out. I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.